Number 38. A helium neon laser beam is reflected from the surface of a CD onto a wall. The brightest spot is the reflected beam at an angle equal to the angle of incidence. However, fringes are also observed. If the wall is 1.5 meters from the CD and the first fringe is 0.6 meters from the central maximum, what is the spacing of grooves on the CD? All right, so we're going to assume that the spacing of the grooves on the CD here is D. Um, they tell us now the X value or the distance between, assume the CD's over here, and this is then the wall. So they tell us now the distance X, they told us it's going to be 1.50 meters. They also told us now the, uh, the distance here, let me put it in red, the distance between the fringe and the central max, they told us now basically that's what Y is, that it is equal to then 0 0.6, you know, meters. So now what I can do with that information is I can solve for this angle and I can use tangent to do that, right? Tan of the angle is the opposite side divided by the adjacent, so it's 0 0.6 divided by then 1.5. They're both in terms of meters, so I'm fine. Take the inverse tan of both sides, right? So you do second tangent of then 0 0.6 divided by 1.5, and that works out to be 21.8 degrees. Now that angle helps us now use the constructive formula here. Uh, to then calculate the D, all right, because that's what they're asking for, the spacing of the grooves. So D here, sine theta, will be equal to M times the wavelength. So to find D, just simply divide out sine of theta from both sides. Look at how easy that is. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Clean it up a little bit. And now all we need to now do is plug in the numbers. So it turns out that since this is the first fringe, M is 1. The wavelength, they didn't tell it to you. Is the problem not calculable? Well, if you don't look it up, it's incalculable. So uh, we have to look it up. So this is about 632.8 meter uh, uh, nanometers. All right, so that's then going to be multiplied by 10 to the minus 9th. It's the wavelength of the helium neon laser. You got to look that up, okay? Uh, and then divide that now by the sine of that angle we just found of 21.8. And let's see what we get, okay? So it's basically... 632.8 times 10 to the minus 9th, divided them by the sine, make sure your calculator is in degree mode, the sine of that exact number, and so this works out to be about 1 1.7, 1.70 times 10 to the minus 6, and that's in terms of then meters, if you needed to convert that into whatever, you know, nanometers, micrometers, you know what to do, right, that's about 1.7 micrometers. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. I really do hope this helps. If it does, give us a hand. Subscribe, like, maybe even tell some of your classmates. We've got a whole bunch of other subjects out there, too. We'd love to help you out in your other class as well if you're taking chem or if you're taking pre-calculus. We're also going to have a lot of other stuff coming out in the future, too. Um, so check out some of those videos, all right? We solve specific problems. Even if you're not using, let's say, the OpenStax books, go and download them. Go to the website, openstax.com. Download them for free. They're great. And then what you can do, sift through the book and, well, not the whole thing, but go to the go to the, go to to the the table of contents, find the chapter you're working on, look at the questions, and find one that's specific, that mimics the problem you might have. And then watch our video. I guarantee you, if you watch it, you'll know, you'll know how to solve the problem you have. All right? We'll see you soon. Take care.